Is it useful to, to talk about intelligence here? And uh, intelligence, of course, is a really loaded word in among scientists. And I mean, there are scientists who talk about not only intelligence of, of mammals, but of insects, of plants. Uh, Ken, do you have a working definition of intelligence? No, I, and, and I won't even venture one. Um, I, it, it, in coming here, I, I, I went to you know, the, the academic source that we all use and cite as authority, which is Wikipedia, um, <laughs> and, and asked Wikipedia what it thought of intelligence. And uh, it threw a basketful of definitions, the ability to organize, the ability to plan, the ability to construct uh, systems and so forth. Um, the ability to engage in complex thought, whatever complex thought means. And I think intelligence is, is one of those qualities that we certainly attribute to our species, and we attribute it more or less to certain individuals uh, in our species, but it's extremely hard to pin down. Um, I'm a scientist, obviously. Uh, my wife is an artist, and she's made it very clear to me um, that even though uh, she may not understand complex numbers and Riemannian geometry, there is a kind of intelligence built into art that we scientists don't always understand. Um, so I'm not going to proffer um, a rigorous definition and simply say, here's what it is. But it certainly is a collection of qualities that really do set us apart from other animals. Tamara, what, do you have a, a working definition here? I guess what I would say that notions of intelligence have in common is that they represent non-lucky capacities to achieve a particular goal. That is to say, when you speak of these multiple forms of intelligences, the, uh, what an intelligence allows you to do is to reliably achieve an outcome which you aim to achieve more reliably than you would without the intelligence. So to take Carl's point about everything being on a spectrum, you might say something is more or less intelligence with regard to a particular goal, depending on how dependent the success of the outcome is on intention as opposed to luck. Is this, that, is this about decision making? The, the ability to, you know, it's, it's not just instinct. You, there are choices you could make and you, so you adjust accordingly. So one of the things, of, instinct is resilient but inflexible. One of the things that instinct has trouble with, that flexible intelligence doesn't have trouble with, is dealing with surprise cases. Instinct is really, really good when you have to do something really fast, really quickly. That's why it's useful to have the capacity to overlearn habits. But you might think intelligence is what guides you to cultivate the habits such that most of the time you will be in a position to be guided by instinct but you want, in addition to that, the capacity to override the instinct when it's not applicable. Basically, you want to structure your life in such a way that you can do almost everything by carefully cultivated habits so that you have the excess resources available for the moments where habitual behavior isn't the right response to the situation. And I would say that's the notion of intelligence that I'm at least intrigued by. Mm -hmm. So Carl, you've been studying all kinds of different animal species and the, this question of intelligence is really intriguing. I mean, we started out by talking about the octopus, yeah, I, but how do, you, how do you think about that? I think intelligence is the ability to come up with novel solutions to new problems. Something that's a, 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 a problem, you haven't seen this before, you can figure out how to solve it. So that's also obviously on a sliding scale. Um, I think it also interacts with instincts. Um, I mean, we have a language instinct. That's our ability to learn a human language. What we learn depends on what we're taught, whether it's English or Vietnamese or whatever. That, that has to do with culture. That, in a way, is a whole different topic. But we, we also, humans also have a, a musical instinct, and then we can learn to be musicians. We have an artistic instinct, we can learn to uh, do all kinds of creative things. So um, in the course of that interplay between instinct and skill acquisition, intelligence comes into play. That's kind of what creativity is in a way. It's finding new 
responses to problems you haven't encountered before.